Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a direct X error that is DXGI error device hung or DXGI error device removed or reset. So if you're receiving these error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to set GST render DX12 to 1. Now for this, you can open file exploring computer and then open file explorer and then go to documents and then open battlefield 6 folder open settings folder make a right click on pro save profile open with and then you can select notepad over here and then click on now open notepad once you open notepad now over here search for this gst render dx12 enable by default the value data should be zero if this is set to zero you can type in one over here and then go to file and then click on save if it is already one you can try zero and then check so for many user setting the value data to one for this has worked so you can type in one and then you have to relaunch the game so close the game relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to rename the battlefield 6 folder create a backup because you will lose all the saved settings and save game progress so create a backup first now for this again you can go to file explorer and then go to documents you can copy this folder copy this and you can paste it the desktop once you have a backup created now you can rename it make a right click and then you can rename it and then you can relaunch the game and then check if that does not work in that case you can set the dx12 well and uh, dx12 enable to one once again save it and then relaunch the game if you have any kind of beta folder over here you can delete it so if you find beta folder you can delete it and then you can relaunch the game and then check next step is to try debug mode in nvidia control panel so make a right click on the desktop show more option and then click on nvidia control panel and then go to help and then put a check on debug mode so put a check on debug mode and then you can relaunch the game and then check if to relaunch and then check still not working the next step is to switch from PAX to NATO and vice versa so you can launch the game and then uh, you can go to loadouts over here at the top and then over here you can see PAX Armata if this is set to PAX Armata you can switch to NATO over here and then check this has worked for many players so it might have worked for you now if this is already set to NATO in that case you can switch to PAX Armata and then check so for, for many users NATO is working fine so you can try NATO and then check still not working the next step is to if you have engineer selected then go to loadouts and then select assault and vice versa so try to check change now over here if you have like by default it is engineer then in that case you can select assault and then you can check if it is already set to assault you can try engineer and then check so switch and then check if that does not work the next step is to go to loadouts and change main weapon to different one so try to change the weapon the primary weapon now for this uh, you can now suppose if you're using assault rifle in that case you can switch to smg maybe try smg and then check if it is already set to smg you can try to change uh, to assault rifle so try to change the main weapon and then check next step is to turn off screen space ao and gi now for this you can go to game and then uh, go to settings at the top and then you can go to graphics over here and then graphics quality settings click on edit over here scroll down here you can see screen space AO and GI if you can turn this off and then you can check now still not working the next step is to try full screen borderless mode cap the FPS lower down video settings and try window mode so try these one by one so you can go to settings and then you can go to graphics and then scroll down go to display you can try borderless mode try borderless borderless mode and then check if that does not work go to graphics once again and then uh, this time you can switch to window mode you can try window mode and then check and then if that does not work go to graphics once again and then go to advanced option over here under graphics 
and then frame rate limiter you can cap the fps so maybe you can try uh, 120 you can cap the fps at 120 or you can even set it to 60 so i will just set it to 60 so try uh, maybe uh, 120 or 60 lock the fps and then you can check and lower down video settings so you can go to graphics performance preset uh, you can set it to auto maybe and graphics quality if this is set to like ultra overkill or if it is set to ultra you can try maybe high you can even go for medium and then you can check now the next step is to turn off smooth motion in nvidia app so nvidia card user if you have nvidia app installed you can open nvidia app or you can install nvidia app now once nvidia app is open uh, here you can see battlefield 6 you can click on settings over here or you can go to graphics and then select battlefield 6 and then once you select it scroll down here you can see smooth motion if this is on turn it off go to global settings again smooth motion if this is on turn it off and then relaunch the game next step is to try these in launch option now for this if you have the game on steam make our click on the game select properties and then in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can close this launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again this time you can type in dash dx12 over here relaunch the game and then check still not working you can remove this if you have the game on ea app click on manage view properties and then in advanced launch option type in dash dx11 save it launch the game and then check if that does not work again go to view properties this time you can type in dash dx12 save it launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this save it follow the next step now the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have amd card go to amd website if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website i'm showing for nvidia now select your graphic card over here make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find and on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver scroll down uh, whichever is the latest geforce game ready driver click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete uh, you can run this file and then click on yes to allow click on ok and then click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and once it is done restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder wherever the game is installed open the battlefield 6 folder select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here now click on the game and then select high performance over here again click on add desktop app open sp folder select this bf6 and then once it is added again you have to select high performance and then relaunch the game now desktop users make sure that you connect your sdmi cable um, sdmi cable or the display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot like to the nvidia or amd card connect your not the motherboard slot so make sure that you connect the uh, cable to the dedicated graphic card slot next step is to disable integrated graphic card now for this you can make a right the start menu go to device manager and then expand display adapter and over here you can see this uh, in my case it's intel integrated card you can make a right click and disable it and once you are done playing the game you can enable, enable it once again so after you play the uh, once you're done playing make a right click enable the device now the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to hardware and sound go to power options and then over here you can select power saver so if you see power saver you can select power saver and then relaunch the game you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver relaunch the game and then check 
still not working, the next step is to uh, type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on advanced graphics settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on and then relaunch the game. If this is already on, you can turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to do not overclock, set it to default, close, this has worked for many players, so close MSI Afterburner or UI Tuner or any kind of overclocking application if you have, you can close it. Close, disable overlay, now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. If this is on, you can turn this off and then relaunch the game and then check. EA app users can go to settings over here and then go to application and scroll down here in game overlay you can uh, turn off if it is already off you can turn it on and then check close all the overlay application like if if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay and close all kind of overlay application if you have undervolted your computer set it to default remove the undervolt and then launch relaunch the game Next step is to update your Windows. Now for this, you can go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. This is important. Let all, all the ins, uh, update install. Make sure everything is installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update the BIOS. This has also worked for many players. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to the Lenovo website. Whichever brand you have, go to this website. Select your model number and then uh, make sure that you uh, like select your operating system, your model number, and then find the BIOS driver, BIOS download in drivers page, and then install it. And in case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. And after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to verify the game files. Now, if you have the game on EA app, you can manage. Click on verify repair and after the repair launch the game. If you have the game on e Steam, make a right click properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the DirectX error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.